What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. How's it going? So today's video, I'm just going to be pretty much kind of winging a look. I wanted to film a video really bad, but I had zero inspiration. I was like, I don't even know what I'm going to film. So I was looking through Instagram and I ran into this post that Luster Lux posted and she got the inspiration from Milk. 1422 and I've been seeing like a lot of these like splattered eyeshadow looks like all over so I wanted to try it and put like my own little twist to it because I thought it was really interesting and I feel like I haven't done anything super fun like this in a long time so yeah that's what we'll go ahead and do today so without further ado let's get right into the video so first I'm going to start with skin prep I'm going to use this ultra Repair Hydrating Serum by First Aid Beauty because some of you may know that my skin has been so dry lately and it's been something else trying to keep it hydrated. And for my brows today, I kept them on the light side. It's not coming. I kept them pretty light today um, because of I feel like the look that we're going to be doing is kind of crazy and out there. So I kept it really light. Then I'm going to go in with this cream. I'm going to butcher the name, but that's the name of it. And I've been really liking that stuff lately too. But yeah, today's video, I'm just going to talk through it since I really don't know what I'm doing. I'm kind of winging it, so roll with me here, guys. Roll with me. Um, my birthday was um, just past, so it was a Saturday, February 18th, so kind of just relax. Did a little shopping, clearly need to get my nails done. But did a little shopping, nothing too serious. It was calm. It was a nice calm birthday, you know? Awesome. So I'm gonna pretty much just keep the eyes bare today. I don't wanna do anything crazy with my eyes. So what I'm gonna do is take the um, Tarte Shape Tape and put that all over the lid. I've been really liking this as like a base, whether it's just for like me doing eyeshadow or just having it on my lids for my no makeup makeup days. I just really like it, honestly. And I need to wet my beauty blender. I'll be right back. Okay, so now that I wet my beauty blender and kind of cleaned it because it was looking rough, I'm just gonna go ahead and it's like it just soaked everything in. There we go. Oh, this is also how I get my eyeliner to be so nice too, because I always do, well, look crazy, because I always do my um, eyes first, even if I'm just doing eyeliner, especially if I'm doing wing liner. Um, this is how I keep it really sharp, because you can fix any mistakes you may have. You can wipe everything off without having to mess up your foundation. And I feel like this is a really good method if you're newer to doing makeup and especially if you're first starting out with doing um, just, I mean, not first starting out, especially if you're just starting out to kind of do wing. Like I feel like doing your foundation and everything first and not doing your wing makes things a little bit more difficult. Cause then you end up messing up your foundation, which is something you don't wanna do. So now I'm just going to go in my Laura Mercier with that same damp beauty blender and I'm going to go ahead and set my eyes so I can prep them for the liner. I want to try the RCMA powder as well just to kind of see how it, how it works. I hear it's the same but pretty much just che cheaper because I think that's like $12 compared to Laura Mercier that's like 30 something. But if you guys have tried the RCMA like if you tried it, let me know. Because I don't like, nobody likes a white cast, nobody. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with my Inglot 77 Gel Liner and I'm gonna line my eyes. But first I'm gonna use some of this Duraline just to kinda make it a little bit creamy. Um, and so it's a lot easier to apply compared to when it's like clay, especially with me having the eyes that I have when they're wrinkly, so it's kind of hard to apply certain liners, especially cream ones, when they're really thick. So then I'm just gonna take this BS Smalls brush and I'm gonna go ahead and line my eyes.
and I'm just gonna wing it out. But just like that. Then I'm not gonna connect it all the way to the end, just a little bit. And then I'm just gonna bring it in. I'm just gonna take my NYX, my NYX matte liner, and just go over it and kind of build on the wing. I zoomed you guys in just a little bit here. Um, but now we have this eye all done. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye and I'm gonna do the exact same thing. Is anybody else like hard for somebody, anybody else to talk when they're doing like their eyeliner? Because I find it so difficult for me to talk while I'm doing my eyeliner. It's damn near impossible. Now I'm going to take the Big Shot mascara and I'm going to go ahead and put on some mascara. So now that we have our mascara on, I'm gonna go in with Ike Ike Hotic by Mandy Lashes. These are just nice and wispy and pretty natural looking. So yeah, I'm just gonna put these on. And of course, I'm gonna use the House of Lashes Lash Glue. I don't know where that just came from. I always look down. It just makes placing them so much easier. Okay, so lashes on. So I came up with this really weird concoction of foundation because while my camera cut off on me, I was trying to decide what foundation I would like to wear. So I mixed these three things and we're gonna see how it comes out. So I mixed the Infallible um, Pro Matte um, and this is in the color 110, although this is really orange on me. NYX um, Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator that I put in there as well as the L'Oreal Paris 309. It's super light on me. Because my skin has been super light lately. I've been more neutral, very neutral, as far as like shades is con are concerned. But everything looks way too orange on me, and it's because it's too dark. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with more of the Infallible Total Coverage, which quite frankly, I tried it. And to be really honest with you guys, it's not my favorite. I don't care for it. I barely reach for it. I've had this for like two months and it's still full. So it's nothing I care too much for, but you know, I don't know. I just don't like the, the shades that they have. Like I find, trying to find my skin tone in something, is so difficult. It's just like the Wet n Wild. I really want to try their foundations, but in stores, like they don't even have my color. And typically when I'm searching for my color, especially at drugstore, I always know that I'm like the second, second to darkest, which is even more sad. Cause it's like, wow, we have so many more shades than just that. So, I've never really understood why people limit it. Like all May, like <laughs> I'm literally never bought anything from them. Because like <laughs> my skin tone doesn't even exist to that brand, I swear it doesn't. Which is also really sad. Okay, so now that we have our foundation on, which I still think the color is really off, I'm gonna go ahead and highlight and then I'm gonna set my face. And I'm hopefully putting this highlight on. And I'm just using the same shape tape, this is in the color tan. 
hopefully this is gonna kind of neutralize everything so to make it you know balance everything out You know what, speaking of foundations, now that I think about it too, like Wet n Wild, they have more colors. They do. So my question is, and I want to know if anybody knows the answer to this, is that when you go online, they have all the rest of these colors, right? So my question is, who is limiting the colors that are coming in store? Is it the brand? Would it be Wet n Wild? Or is it the store itself? So I wonder why this happens, because I find that interesting. Like you go online, it's like, oh my gosh, there's like 18 other colors. But then you go in stores and there's only like 10 shades. And I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of bake under the eyes, not really because my under eyes have been so dry lately. And I'm gonna bring it to the side of my nose just to help with contouring. Oh, I finally get my braces appointment Tuesday. So, I'll be putting up my updated braces situation. If some of you guys haven't seen like my braces vlogs or anything like that, definitely go check it out. I'll leave a link to it down below. I look crazy. I'll be right back because I need to go get a brush. Now, I'm just gonna take this, what is it? Morphe M528 brush and dust off any Bakage situation I got going on here. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna set where it didn't set the rest of my face. I'm kind of liking how the combo turned out though after like I got done with my face. It looks really good. Definitely full coverage. Okay. And because my face feels so powdery, I'm gonna take some Max Fix Plus and spray my face with it. So I was looking back on some footage that I was editing and I don't know what it is. I watch other beauty gurus like set their face and they look so fabulous doing it. But when I do it, it's so ugly. It's like expectation versus reality, you know? But I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with Fix Plus. Fix Plus smells so good. And this is some new Fix Plus that I got. And I tend to like drench myself. And I'm just like chatty in this video. I'm, I apologize, you guys. But I feel like I don't really talk too much. Like I do mostly voiceovers because I have a really frustrating camera that turns off on me every 10 minutes. So I can't just blabber away like I want to, you know? So another product I'm gonna go ahead and try, speaking of Wet n Wild. Which, by the way, me saying all that I don't hate that doesn't mean like I hate like the um, the brands or anything like that. I just really think that it's unfortunate that they don't have um, other shades like that out and whatnot. Because like I said, as a business, I would think you would have more shades out so you can cater more to more skin colors. Not only that, that's more income for you. Um, but you know that's that's just my opinion. Um, I don't hate them for that. It's, it's just disappointing. But I am gonna try this Wet n Wild contouring palette. Um, this is in, I think this is like the medium one. This is the Caramel Toffee, that's what it looks like. I'm gonna try that. And I kinda wanna try a little bit of that banana shade too. I'm gonna put that actually on this, this Morphe brush here and I'm gonna put this under my eyes. I see Amy Macedo do this a lot, but I love her by the way. Like her channel's so awesome. Like I relate a lot to her. Cause I, she's one that loves a bright under eye, which I do too. And honestly, I see why she uses it so much. Cause I could definitely see the difference. Like this is so much brighter than that. I'm taking a very light not using a lot at all. <laughs> now I'm gonna use this toffee side and I'm using a Morphe M401 brush. It's like a tulip brush. And I'm gonna contour. 
And this is actually like my first time using this too. You know, I really like that color actually. I really do. Another Wet n Wild product I was trying to get my hands on is their highlights. Um, I got the one in, was it Crown My Canopy? And then finally I was able to get the one in Precious Petals. It's like this gold, like a champagne color. And I'm just gonna use my Morphe M406 brush. This is gonna be the first time using this too, so oh, I like this. I'm thinking I'm gonna keep keep it pretty subtle today. And so I'm gonna have to do a whole bunch of other stuff. On to the fun parts, the dots. What I'm pretty much gonna do is start putting dots on my face and there's probably not gonna be a method to my madness. I'm probably just gonna go ahead and just do dots as I please, but yeah. I'm gonna start with the eyes first. And I'm using a, the NYX Vivid Bright. of this color I really do like this color the color of it only frustrating thing about it is that it tends to crack which is frustrating I love doing crazy looks like this usually I do looks like this off camera and then I'll take pictures of it for Instagram but I was like well I need to film why not try something fun So next, let's get a toothpick and I'm just going to take a liquid lipstick because that's the only color eyeliner that I have. I'm just going to take this like this, the back of it, and then stamp dots, kind of wherever, and then do both sides, so like the pointy side as well as like the flat side. in with this bright pink. This is by Wet n Wild as well. Oh my gosh, I sound like a Wet n Wild ad. So just another liquid lipstick. I'm going to do the same thing I did. So then I'm gonna take this white gel liner. This is by NYX. Oh my god. Everything today I'm using it has been NYX and Wet n Wild. <laughs> so two big fans of those brands, clearly. I don't know what I'm doing there. But hey, let it be. Just go with it. And now I'm going to go in with Coral Corruption and the Pink Really Hard. So I think we're good as far as dots are concerned. I actually need to put some mascara on the bottom lashes, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm just gonna use the same Big Shot mascara real quick here. So lip color, what should we do? I kinda wanna do something bold, but at the same time, I kinda wanna keep it low key. I think I'm just gonna keep it neutral because it looks really good without a lot going on here. So 
so the other thing I want to do is take Precious Petals, the same color that we used to highlight with, and put that in the in the corner. So now I'm just going to take a, another NYX product. <laughs> How many times have I used NYX products in this whole video? NYX and Wet n Wild. So many. But this is their color Sandstorm. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply that. I'm going to take this uh, Too Faced Sweet Peach Creamy Lip, it says Creamy Peach Oil Lip Gloss, a lip gloss, and apply that to the center. That pretty much sums up the whole look. Nothing too special, just something, a little inspiration that I got from Lester Lux. And yeah, I just wanted to see how this looked on you know deeper skin tones because I've been seeing this on like a lot of lighter complexions and it didn't turn out too bad I had a lot of fun doing this definitely something different which I'm always down for something trying something new something different why not don't know what I really did here but we're just gonna go with it because you got dots all over your face why does it really matter but yeah that sums up the whole look. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Toodles. Bye.